Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Danny James and on this channel, I cover content around music video editing. This is predominantly around different styles, tips, tricks, transitions that you can incorporate into your music video projects and have aesthetically good looking videos. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add scribble mark animations around your frame, around your subject and to have these glowing sort of animations that you've maybe seen in some other videos so make sure to stick till the end of the video there's so much source that you can learn if you're watching my content for the first time make sure to give it a like subscribe and turn on the notification bell because i have so much content that you can learn from on my channel now without further ado let's jump right into the video all right so i have two clips on my composition and uh, these are performance clips by loski if you know him he's an artist in the uk really dope and electric now i want to add some scribble mark animations around him on this blue scene the first thing that you want to do you want to enable two panels or two windows just go to your windows tab right here and enable brushes and then the second one is the paint panel so here's the paint panel i'll push them up depending on how your screen is is set up i'm using a small screen so i'm using the default arrangement i'll push them up so that whenever i click on them i see all the options dropping down now in order to start painting we need to get our brush tool so here's our brush tool the shortcut is Control b you can always adjust that now you need to choose whatever brush you want i'll pick a hard brush so in order to change how wide it is the diameter you can just adjust this value here once you're done doing that just go to your paint tab and then here you are able to customize the colors which you want or uh, let's start off with this pinkish sort of thing and then under duration you want to change this from constant to single frame so how it works is that whenever we paint something on the frame it appears for that frame only and whenever we go to the next frame we have to paint newly so it's enabled on single frame don't forget to do that to start painting around our subject you need to double click on this scene so that it takes us to the layers panel with the brushes you can adjust the diameter you can see now it's a bit bigger i can make it smaller however you want now let's just start painting random stuff i'll start by putting one line over here and then i'll go to the next frame so you can use your preview paint to go to the next frame or you can use page up and page down keys whichever works for you and then you can paint again now i like to change around the colors so i'll change the color to something like this it's like a cyan and then on this other frame uh, let's go around his hair like that and then i'll go to the next frame change the color once again i want to play around with the colors i feel like it's a better way to go around this next frame i'll change the color that's yellowish i can also play around with the diameter of my brush make this bigger okay and then i'll go to the next frame probably do something random around his collarbone i'll change the diameter once again go to the next frame change the color just play around with it it should now ring in your head uh, okay the blue clashes with this with the scene so orange yeah so if we just preview this from the beginning you can see what it looks like so that looks good if you have a tab whereby you can manually write on it it's better but since we're using a mouse we just have to adjust so i'll continue to do this for a few more frames So you see it's a bit time consuming but if you're able to take your time you can get something good happening okay the next part i want to show you how to add the glowing animation around these marks now you can't manually add a glow on top of this frame because it will add the glow throughout the entire scene now how you do this just go to your effect controls and then you can see your paint is right here just enable paint on transparent but before we do that make sure to jump back to your composition so that you're able to see your final result so when i tick off uh, the paint on transparent it looks like what you are just animating but if i tick this and enable that we are only seeing the scribbling marks which is one step closer to what we want so i will control d so that we can duplicate this layer 
and then on the layer that is underneath I'll delete the paint. If I do hide this layer, we have this layer which has the scribbling animations. Now I can add a glow on this layer now. So just go to your effects and preset and look for glow. The inbuilt After Effects glow is not the most reliable but let's just try it. So we'll add it on that scene. With the After Effects glow, you might not see the results immediately. You just need to tweak a few parameters. Just go to your glow radius and turn it up and you will see the glow happening. You'll also want to change the glow operation or sorry, I mean the glow intensity. You can increase it so that it's a bit more palpable. Now, if I do enable my background layer, we can see this animation and they have that glowing effect. So you can use the inbuilt Adobe After Effects Glow and you should be able to get the results. Now I want to show you a second method whereby you are going to track this glow animation around our subject. It will be pretty easy. Let me just do it here on our second clip. So you have this clip of Lowski on top of the car. The first step, you want to roto brush him or roto brush the subject. So it's pretty easy. Just go to your roto brush tool double click on your scene so that it takes you to a layers tab and then just do what you can do what you're supposed to do with the roto brush so i'm going to track this mask around these few frames all right so i'm done tracking frame by frame i know the ai is good but whenever you have your subject moving around and all it's better to go frame by frame and make sure that you get the selection right once you're done you need to freeze this selection by hitting freeze and then it will now freeze those frames and track them we've done that now we can go back to our composition panel and you can switch to your selection tool and here is our selection uh, just what we are able to roto now i'll duplicate this clip by hitting ctrl d and then on the layer that's beneath i will delete the roto brush like that so let me just rename this scene lost kicker scene roto brush okay and i also give it a different label color so that's easier to follow now on this scene which has the roto brush you only need to do two things go to your layers and then go to auto trace usually it will be on current frame just click on work area and hit ok the software will now start tracing i know it's showing not responding i'm using the latest version of after effects which can be a bit problematic but it will go through so it has auto traced the entire frame and you can see those it's like if you are done masking manually this is what it would look like I'll disable my background layer for a second. Before we can delete these masks, I want to show you what it looks like if we go ahead with this. Now on your effects and preset, you need to search for the Saber effect. It's by Video Copilot. It's a free plugin. I'll also link down below so that you can download and use it on your edits. Just add it and then you'll start by seeing this line. You just have to tweak a few settings. Don't be discouraged by this. Under the preset, you can change to whatever you want. But before we change the preset, let's customize the core. So change the core type from Saber to layer masks. So now it will work on the masks that were auto traced. And then under customize core, I want us to customize this core. Uh, just go to your render settings and we want to change the composite settings. So change that from black to transparent. If you don't do that and if it stays on black and I'll enable my background layer which has the everything, we won't be able to see that layer. But if I change the composite settings from black to transparent, you should now see through this layer. I'll go back up and then let's change the preset to something like energy and then we should reduce the intensity. So I'll disable my background layer just for a second so that you can focus on the matter at hand. So I'm rendering at full resolution, which is causing problems. Let's render that at a third. So let's see this. You can see what it looks like. I'll enable my background layer once again so that you can see through this. Now I'll change the glow color settings. The scene needs something that's a bit contrasting. Uh, let's go for this funny color, really. Okay, we have this pink shade. 
you can play around with these settings and you should be able to find something that excites you this fire will just need to reduce the intensity or the glow spread play around with these values you should be able to get something good going on for this mask that you don't want just hit m and then it's the second mask right here just delete that and then it should look a bit smoother than before so let me just change to a preset that i like okay this ghost looks good it's kind of animated and it follows through with the subject this is exactly the look that i wanted us to get and now just to make it look better you can cycle around these colors so let's enable the keyframe for glow color and then you can hit u so that you can see that keyframe and then you can go on this other end change the color to something else a green okay let's just drag that keyframe a bit there and then let's just cycle around a couple of colors i've created like four five keyframes i think we can copy paste them so that we don't have to do this again and again so i'll hit ctrl c and then right here i'll paste this and then i'll click on all of them ctrl c go right here and paste them again i'll come right here paste them so we sort of have these colors rotating around so let's preview these quickly and see what it looks like so that's one way you can make your animations a bit energetic and fluid yeah so that's it for me today i think that was pretty easy if you do end up doing something like this kindly tag me on my instagram i'm happy to see what you guys do with this one if you have enjoyed this video kindly give it a like subscribe for better content like this and i hope to see you in the next video my name is danny james see you in the next one peace